Hello, everyone. My name is Hao Yu Wang, the PhD from University of Virginia. Today, I want to introduce my research. Uh, the title is NCC, Neighbor Aware Congestion Control Based on Reinforcement Learning for Pacenter Internet Networks. Next, uh, here is the outline of uh, today's presentation. Um, here is an overview of the daily life of a client who uses the uh, web application like uh, Facebook. The so web application data is transmitted through the whole internet. Many devices involved in this process may degrade users' experience. Today, our research focuses on the data center network and think about how to improve the user experience within a data center. Um, many applications are deployed on the data center like uh, Facebook or Google search engine and the YouTube content publisher. These different types of applications challenge the current data center network traffic design with different application requirements and the different application features. For example, Facebook serves a billion reads per second according to a paper published in the SDI 2013. In order to learn about the data center congestion control problem globally, we first need to answer one question. What will happen after congestion? Is it just a slight delay for the users? Once there is a congestion occurrence in the data center, what will happen next? First, in Facebook data center, the congestion can increase 120% transmission delay and 90% throughput reduction at most. In Morgan Stanley's data center, they introduce the negative effect of congestion in more detail. They can increase 10% number of retransmission through times of round trip time for regular data transmission and 80% throughput reduction. Those numbers mean the higher latency and the lower throughput. Does this performance degradation matter? Yes. The modern web application always has very strict network traffic requirements. For example, the deployed in every storage system needs a response latency for each request less than 100 milliseconds. Once there are congestion within the data center, it will degrade the performance of application for sure. The application degradation can highly reduce the revenue or sale of the company who deploy their work in the data center. For Amazon web application, per 100 millisecond extra latency will result in 1% 1, 1 sale reduction of one year. For the stock broker in Wall Street, the money problem is even worse. 4 million revenue per millisecond will be affected if there is extra 5 milliseconds only. Therefore, the large amount of money loss makes researchers from both academic and industry pay more attention on this internet network optimization, especially for congestion control algorithm. Next, uh, we discuss about uh, the previous approach for congestion control within the data center networks. First, for we classified the previous approaches in two parts. First, for centralized approaches, Centralized congestion control algorithm deploy a central controller in a separate physical machine within one data center. This centralized controller obtains a global view of the data center network by communicating with each node of switch. For example, in flow tune, the centralized congestion controller collects uh, all the network information, flow start and end times and flow transmission rates and then makes a transmission rate decision for each flow. With the global view of the data center network, centralized congestion control algorithm can avoid over flooding the bottleneck in the switch. However, the centralized congestion algorithm needs a long time to communicate with each node to collect all the necessary information and high time consuming for algorithm computation. So, the decisions made by the controller out of date 
for short flows, I mean, the conjunction control algorithm cannot react to the network fluctuations in real time. Um, the second category of the conjunction control is end-to-end -end conjunction control algorithm that deployed on which um, each node within the data center and collect the congestion related information in every end host. Based on this local information, the algorithm decides when and how to send outgoing traffic. The end to end approaches are ideal for prioritizing flows and uh, making decisions in a short time since all the needed information is collected from the end host itself without high information transmission latency. The congestion control algorithm deployed on each end host makes the outgoing rate limiting decisions only considering the information collected from the node itself. Because of the inadequate network information, the end-to-end -end congestion control algorithm can now make the global optimal decisions and then lead to low network utilization and long latency. Here's an overview of our approach to the NCC deployment. We deploy the NCC's reinforcement learning agent on each node. We call the node under the same switch as the neighboring nodes. Neighboring nodes can communicate with each other to share the network information. The deployment detail of the NCC is in the next. So NCC deployed on each node, including a monitoring system, reinforcement learning algorithm, uh, learning algorithm and rate limiting enforcement. The monitoring system monitors the TCP related parameters and then transfer those parameters as state to the reinforcement learning algorithm based on TensorFlow. Meanwhile, the state's information is transferred from other neighbor nodes. The trained reinforcement learning model can make the outgoing rate limiting decisions and uh, take action to the rate limiting enforcement. The algorithm is constructed based on TensorFlow and the CCP. And the rate limiting enforcement is based on TCP result modification on the regional TCP. After the rate limit on the node is determined, the flows in the queues will be transferred out according to the priorities of flows. For the implementation details, please refer to the uh, paper. So in order to avoid the head of line blocking, Above, uh, we further optimize the flow transmission order. We use the uh, figure below as an example. Uh, the yellow square is a large flow, and the blue square represents short flows. If we use a FIFO, like the order above the red line, the average waiting time, 251 over sending rate. If we use the flow optimization, the average waiting time will be 202 over sending rate. It is not worth it that in our deployment, the queue is periodically optimized and the priority is not determined only by the size of flow. It is also determined by the flow completion remaining time and the flow waiting time in the queue. Um, next is the evaluation part. We evaluate our experiment on the Amazon EC2 instances and uh, it is based on the CCP programming model and uh, we also use to public the benchmark, high bench and the uh, YCSB to evaluate our method and also the comparison method. The first two method, DC, DCP and Conga, they deployed on each agent. So it is uh, into end approaches and flow to and auto, they are centralized approaches. So this figure shows the time out ratio performance in its two benchmarks. The DC TCP optimizes the original TCP parameter specifically for data center networks. Compared with DC TCP, Conga splits the long flows into small flowlets, which can achieve better performance since it optimizes uh, each flowlet in more fine grain level. Flow to optimize the sending rate of each flowlet seems to Conga, different from the end to end way of Conga. Flow to and use a centralized rate allocator for each flowlet with a network utility maximization strategy, which can achieve the global optimal relating to flow tune uh, is smaller than Kong. However, the centralized controller introduces actual decision-making latency, which can affect the performance. Auto-use reinforcement learning 
as a centralized controller so that Alto has a similar performance with flow tune. Compared with this method, as NCC deploys the RL agent on each node and also considers the network information from the neighboring nodes, NCC can achieve the global optimality and also lower response time to the congestion. Therefore, NCC achieves the best performance and improves over 40% in timeout ratio. So now let's conclude the, the today's presentation. So first, network congestion is a common and important problem in modern data center. We proposed a semi-distributed the reinforcement learning based method and RL agent runs on each node and uses the reinforcement learning technique to choose a sending rate that optimizes throughput and latency. Different from previous algorithm, the reinforcement learning algorithm collects the network information from all the end hosts under the same switch and conducts a congestion control in the semi-distributed manner. We conduct a comprehensive experiment in real imp implementation. The results show that NCC outperforms other comparison methods in the average flow completion time, as well as other measures of congestion. So thank you. So if you have any questions, please email to the email address in this slide. Thank you very much.